Hello, we are back in the stairwell again. Kelsey and I tried to go to the playground again yesterday and we got kicked off after about 30 to 45 minutes. We at least got a workout in, but I don't think we're gonna go back there. So we have two more places. We have the tennis court still, and then we have our lovely stairwell right here. So last time we did uh, stuff here, we did arms, mostly upper body stuff. So today we're gonna do a, a lower body day, a leg day. Uh, we're gonna use the bands again. Uh, we're also gonna use the stairs. And so what we are gonna do first is I have my blue bands attached almost as like a suspension strap, with like a singular suspension strap. And uh, so what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna do a set of jumps and we're also gonna do a set of pistols with them. And so the first exercise we're gonna do, and this is just something I made up. I mean, it's, it's a, based on a real exercise, but I don't really have any explanation of why I did what I did. I just wanted some variety. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hinge position right here we're gonna come back and we're gonna jump. We're gonna extend the hips and really explode into that band because if you don't, the band's gonna pull you back. So we're gonna do that for probably 12 reps. We're gonna put our band down and then we're gonna put, sorry, I'm talking away from the camera right now. We're gonna put our foot in the band and we're gonna basically treat it like a TRX lunge or a TRX pistol. So we're just gonna come right here Squat down, come back up. Squat down, remember to try not to have the knee track too far in front of the toes, that's the main thing. If you need to hold on to a wall, like that's what we have, a wall would be good, or a stick or something to get your balance, then do that. But I'm gonna try to do it without it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do first. And we're gonna come over here. Um, and I have another setup over here, sort of a setup, it's just a band. Um, we're going to do two things over here. We're going to use the stairs as like a box for jumping. I actually like stairs because there's not an abrupt thing to scrape. You, it's, you're less likely to scrape your shins on this. As long as you can make the jump, you're less likely to mess up on it. And it's not just going to fall over. So we're going to do a jump right here, just like that. I'm only going to do two steps. I could probably manage with three, but I don't really feel like making a fool of myself and falling on my face. So I'm just going to do two. And then also what we're going to do with our gray band is we're going to do a set of deadlifts and squats with the band. So the main difference, uh, hop over here real quick. The main difference between those is being the hinge position versus a more knee dominant, quad dominant position. So the deadlift is going to be right here. Back is going to be flat. Hips are going to come through. You're going to pause at the top then come down. You should feel that more in your hamstrings. You shouldn't really feel this in your quads. The quad dominant one will be where you're gonna lower your hips more, and you're really gonna load those hips up or load those quads up and squat from there. Treat it more like a squat, you'll get more quad work out of it. So we're gonna do all those together, and we're not gonna really break, we're just gonna put the camera down, I'll probably pick it up and you know we'll, we'll move around, but we're gonna do all those together, probably 12 reps each. So we'll check back soon. The band is kind of a bitch. What? It's a perfect teaching moment. All right, back flat. All right, so arms are straight. Yes, good position. All right, now you're just standing. Yeah. I did that one. Yeah. All right, well, the squat then. So back flat. Lower the hips, so widen your legs a little bit. The back stays flat, remember? All right, arms straight though. Take the slack out, now squat up. 
Squat back down. Yeah, better. Good. But yeah, no, 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 good. Go back to that position. Back flat though. Straight stops. Yeah, good. Stand up. All right, well, you did both of them. They're the same thing. No, they're not. <laughs> Remember to do your jumps after that. Okay, so that's one set. That's not too hard. All right, so that's not bad. That's good. Let's watch Kelsey. Probably at least four. I'd like to do five, but you can just do three if you want. Okay, we did five sets of that. That was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, especially this band right here, after 12 reps or so, my legs were pretty cooked. So what we're gonna finish with is some calf work. I don't do a lot of calf work often. My calves are very small, so I might as well use this time to build them. I actually stole this from uh, Hat Thor, so the guy that played the mountain, um, who is the world's strongest man, or number two right now, if you didn't know that. But um, he has some, this is something that they do at their gym. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start on step one. We're gonna do one, and then two, and then we're gonna go all the way up, and we'll be up to 14 calf raises. And so make sure you get a good stretch at the bottom and a good squeeze at the top. It's a lot harder than you think. So we're gonna do that now. So it has more of your foot off the So Kelsey obviously cheated. But now she's having to redo her reps. Sort of, but you cheated. So it's only 13 steps, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. Like it, uh, by the 10th step, it's quite hard. So that's all we're gonna do today. She's gonna finish up. I'm hoping that she'll be very tired in the next few steps. Hold on, Les. Stop that. <laughs> all right, see you next time.